Woman mocks black man in street. Has no idea who he is. When a white woman, Carol, in the small town of Harmony Ridge, openly mocks a black man, Samuel, her prejudice initiates an unexpected series of events. In the quaint town of Harmony Ridge, Carol held an unspoken dominion over the minds of its inhabitants. As the self-appointed custodian of the town's tales, she relished her role as the gossip queen. However, there was a harmful undercurrent to her reign, a byproduct of her single-minded, insular view of the world. This insensitivity was most pronounced in her treatment of those she deemed outsiders. One sunny day, Carol first laid eyes on Samuel, an unfamiliar figure in the town. He bore an air of grace and tranquility. His dark skin glowed against the backdrop of Harmony Ridge's typical pastel hues, and his well-kept attire was out of sync with the town's informal dress code. Carol, fastened in her preconceptions and unconscious biases, immediately pegged him as an outsider. With the sole intent of entertainment, she decided to make him the subject of her latest gossip session, addressing her captive audience in the town square. Carol publicly mocked Samuel using the wit she was known for to spin a tale that reeked of prejudice and ignorance. She painted him as an alien entity, out of place and unwelcome in their close-knit community. Her words, born of insensitivity, seemed to harden the atmosphere around them. Samuel, hearing the laughter around him, turned to see the Saurus. His eyes met Carol's gleaming with mischief and an unkind delight. His expression, however, didn't falter. Instead, his calm demeanor stood in stark contrast to Carol's sarcastic jests. With an unperturbed smile and a gentle nod towards Carol, Samuel responded in an unexpectedly composed manner. I appreciate you welcome, ma'am, he said, his voice reverberating through the quieting crowd. I hope with time I can contribute positively to your beautiful town. His graceful reaction was disarming. It silenced the crowd, their laughter replaced by a collective intake of breath. While Carol stood perplexed, her mouth wide open, the onlookers began to shift uncomfortably. An ember of curiosity was sparked in their minds, a curiosity about the man who had responded to mockery with grace. In this pivotal moment, Samuel's strength of character was on display, his calm response revealing a depth of maturity and wisdom that Harmony Ridge was unaccustomed to. Meanwhile, the incident began to stir the first signs of introspection within some town members, questioning the unchecked reign of Carol's gossips and her divisive prejudices. Samuel's demeanor initiated the unraveling of Carol's unchallenged influence, hinting at the potential change in the wind for the residents of Harmony Ridge. Harmony Ridge was abuzz, the air electric with speculations and whispers, each one seeking to solve the enigma that was Samuel. The incident at the town square had caused an unusual disruption, and the curiosity it incited was growing like wild vines. Who was this man who met mockery with grace? Where did he come from, and what was his story? The answers remained elusive, causing the rumors to swirl around the town like a whirlwind. In the heart of Harmony Ridge, nestled between the bakery and the town hall, was a quaint little building filled with stories, the town's library. It was here that Jane, the local librarian, spent most of her time. Jane was a keen observer and a quiet listener. She watched the rumors about Samuel grow and evolved from her corner in the library, each tale more fantastical than the last. But unlike others, she was not one to readily accept the words of the gossip vine. One day, she stumbled upon a familiar face on the back cover of a book. It was Samuel's. The title of the book was Rising Above, A Journey Through Adversity, and it was penned by none other than Samuel himself. As she skimmed through the pages, she discovered that he was not just an author, but an entrepreneur and philanthropist who had climbed up the ladder of success from humble beginnings, making substantial contributions to society along the way. The realization came to Jane like a thunderbolt, her heart pounding in shock. The stranger, the outsider that Karen had mocked so publicly, was in fact a man of honor, integrity, and success. Consumed by this revelation, Jane felt a duty to share the truth to silence the rumors with reality. She shared her discovery at the next town meeting, unveiling the man who had been the subject of their speculations. She read excerpts from his book, highlighting that his journey from hardship to triumph. 
The revelation hit the town's residents like a tidal wave, leaving them stunned and speechless. The murmurs of rumors were suddenly replaced with a resonating silence. Carol, in particular, was visibly taken aback. She stood there, shocked, her pale face mirroring her remorse. Her eyes, which once held an unkind delight, were now filled with regret. The realization of the man she had publicly ridiculed being so accomplished and influential was a bitter pill to swallow. Her mockery, she realized, had made her the fool, not Samuel. The revelation was a wake-up call for the residents, especially Carol. Samuel wasn't just an outsider as they had initially perceived. He was a man of substance who had risen above his circumstances through hard work and perseverance. It was a moment of revelation that would forever alter the dynamics of the small town of Harmony Ridge. In the aftermath of Jane's revelation, Harmony Ridge found itself in the grip of a profound transformation. The stranger who had been the subject of mockery was now the center of admiration. His true identity revealed and his accomplishments acknowledged. Yet Samuel bore this transformation with the same grace and tranquility he had shown in the face of ridicule. His achievements as a philanthropist, entrepreneur, and a best-selling author began to define the conversations around him. Began to define the conversations around him. Stories of his generosity, his struggles, and his rise from adversity shed a new light on his persona. But it was his humility, despite such accomplishments, that truly won over the hearts of Harmony Ridge. Samuel could be seen helping the elderly with their groceries, spending time with the local children, sharing stories and lessons from his life, or simply sitting by the river with a friendly nod for everyone who passed by. His acts of kindness weren't granted His acts of kindness weren't grand gestures, but small, simple actions, a stark contrast to the persona that the rumors had painted. With each passing day, Samuel's genuine nature and unwavering character began to transform Harmony Ridge. His patience, wisdom, and kindness became an anchor for the townsfolk, making him an integral part of their lives. Conversations with Samuel felt like many life lessons, his stories stirring reflections, self-examination, and inspiration. He encouraged the residents to dream bigger, work harder, and most importantly to respect and accept one another despite their differences. His words and actions painted a vivid picture of the power of perseverance, the virtue of kindness, and the importance of humility. Despite the initial discomfort and tension, Samuel's consistent display of strength, kindness, and humility gradually dissolved the barriers. The man who had been mocked as an outsider was now accepted and appreciated as an integral member of the community. The prejudices that had once made him the object of ridicule were replaced by admiration and respect. Samuel's presence became a catalyst for growth in Harmony Ridge. He didn't just alter the narrative around him, he influenced the very fabric of the community, inspiring them to be better, kinder, and more open-minded. The simple act of being himself or remaining consistent in his values had a profound influence on Harmony Ridge. Though he was initially misunderstood and scorned, Samuel was now the source of inspiration in the town, the embodiment of perseverance and kindness. His humility and generosity displayed through his daily interactions with the townsfolk had taught them more about acceptance and growth than any number of rumors or stories he could. Through Samuel's actions and teachings, Harmony Ridge was beginning to understand the power of diversity, acceptance, and change. In the wake of Samuel's true identity being revealed, Carol felt a churning mixture of guilt and shame. Her ignorance and prejudiced attitude had led her to publicly ridicule a man of respect and achievement. The laughter that had once given her pleasure now echoed in her mind as a reminder of her folly. The realization was a harsh one, and Carol found herself retreating into a self-imposed solitude, battling her emotions and confronting her actions. In her solitude, Carol found herself watching Samuel from a distance. She observed as the man she had mocked became a pillar of strength and inspiration for Harmony Ridge. Samuel's humble interactions with the townsfolk, his generosity, and his forgiving nature seemed to cast a new light on the town. His influence was transformative, and Carol couldn't help but be affected by it. What struck Carol the most was Samuel's generosity and forgiveness— even after the public humiliation he had experienced, Samuel held no resentment. Instead, 
he continued to engage with Carol as he would any other town member, displaying an empathy that was humbling to witness. This kindness and forgiving nature of Samuel made Carol confront her prejudice. She had been quick to judge, quick to laugh, and she began to understand the harm that such behavior could cause. The prejudices and biases she had clung to so tightly began to seem less significant, less valid. In the quiet corners of her solitude, a transformation started taking place. It began subtly with self-reflection, a probing examination of her actions and her biases. She requested her quick judgment, her remedies to ridicule, and her satisfaction in mockery. The answers were uncomfortable but necessary. In her journey of introspection, Carol made the conscious decision to seek forgiveness, not just from Samuel, but from herself, too. Mustering the courage, she approached Samuel one sunny afternoon, and in the town square, the same place where she had once been so cruel, her apology was heartfelt, her remorse apparent in the tremble of her voice and the sincerity in her eyes. Samuel, true to his nature, accepted it with a gentle nod and an encouraging smile. Carol's transformation didn't stop at her apology. It had been an essential first step, but she understood that her journey had only just begun. She had to unlearn her prejudices, reassess her biases, and learn to be more accepting and empathetic. She sought the help of her fellow townsfolk, her actions conveying her earnestness to change. She spent time with Samuel, learning from his experiences, absorbing his teachings. She began attending workshops on diversity and inclusion, actively working on her biases. Carol's transformation was a testament to the influence of introspection the power of apology, and the will to change. Her journey was not just an easy one, but it was necessary and crucial, not just for her, but for Harmony Ridge as well. She was learning, unlearning, and relearning in the hope of becoming a better version of herself. Samuel's presence in Harmony Ridge had become the gentle ripple that disrupted still waters, transforming the town's stagnant mindset. His influence was profound subtly altering the attitudes, interactions, and aspirations of the residents. His quiet determination, humility, and kindness, paired with his enduring resilience, painted a powerful picture of strength and diversity and the power of acceptance. The townsfolk began to shed their long-held prejudices, replacing them with a newfound appreciation for diversity. Where once an outsider was subject to ridicule, now newcomers were welcomed with warmth and curiosity. Conversations evolved from petty gossip to genuine interactions, fueled by empathy and understanding. In this wave of change, Carol's transformation stood as a symbol, a beacon that guided others towards self-improvement. Her journey, from a prejudiced gossip queen to an open-minded learner, demonstrated a tangible personal growth that resonated with the townsfolk. The change within Carol was a mirror of the transformation taking place within Harmony Ridge, and it was impossible to ignore as time passed, Harmony Ridge began to exhibit a sense of unity that was deeper than the mere shared geography. Samuel's influence had woven a thread of acceptance and understanding through the hearts of the residents, binding them in a way that was both profound and inspiring. The prejudices that was once cast long shadows were gradually fading, replaced by the vibrant colors of diversity and acceptance. This newfound unity was most important during the town's gatherings, Shared meals were no longer mere social obligations, but opportunities to learn from one another, to appreciate their diverse backgrounds and experiences. The once exclusive community events were now spaces of inclusion, celebrating that diversity that Samuel had helped them appreciate. The town that had once ridiculed an outsider was now a place where differences were celebrated rather than scorned. A community, once divided by prejudice, was now united by acceptance and understanding, their collective growth reflecting the teachings of Samuel, the man who had turned his own back into a powerful lesson for all. In the end, Harmony Ridge lived up to its name, finding a harmony that was more profound than mere peaceful coexistence. This harmony was born from diversity, acceptance, and a collective will to change and grow. The journey of Harmony Ridge was a testament to the fact that it's never too late to learn, to grow, and to change. The transformation of the town, triggered by the humble influence of Samuel and symbolized by Carol's personal growth, was a powerful lesson. 
It highlighted the impact of one's individual resilience and the potential within each one of us to influence change, to challenge prejudices, and to create a more inclusive and accepting society. It was a reminder that no town, no individual, is ever too set in their ways to embrace change, to remember from their mistakes, and to strive for a better, kinder future.